Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Matt, I think the weather this weekend was just perfect because it was warm but not too hot. It was not too sticky and yeah. humid. You know, it really didn't feel too bad out there. And we did have some showers and storms across the region, especially over New York. So that's where it's cooled off a bit into the 70s. Even a 70 right now in Stowe, where we had a passing thunderstorm earlier. 85 in Burlington, 87 in Lebanon, 84 in Brattleboro. Lots of sunshine for the southern half of the state. More clouds to the north. And as we expected, the greatest coverage of showers and storms has been over northern areas, especially along along the spine of the Green Mountains here in the last couple of hours. Also over in New York, the uh, past uh, five hours have been quite busy across uh, Clinton, Franklin, and Essex counties with numerous showers and downpours moving through there. A lot more activity off to the west associated with a very slow-moving low-pressure system, so that's going to increase our rain chances over the next few days. The highest rain chance tomorrow will be over New York. Once again, more widespread storms for everybody on Tuesday, and then we do dry out for later Wednesday. So you can see showers mostly focused on northern New York, it will be a mostly dry night for a good chunk of us, but just keep that in mind if you're headed out west of Lake Champlain. Tomorrow morning, though, starting off with the sun in northern Vermont and especially the Northeast Kingdom, there will be numerous showers and maybe even a few downpours throughout the day over northern New York. And the data that I'm seeing suggests that we're kind of going to be split between two pieces of energy. One of them, a short wave going over New York, and then another kind of grazing us to our east. So the, our friends out in western New Hampshire could see a period of steady or even some part heavy rain tomorrow afternoon. I think that is the best news considering that that's where the biggest drought is. Now Tuesday, I think that's the Champlain Valley's best shot at seeing a shower or downpour. Numerous uh, coverage there by later Tuesday, so I think just about everybody could get in on a shower or storm, but certainly comfortable tonight. It will be on the mild side in the Champlain Valley. 68 with some showers over northern New York. 60 there in Saranac Lake. 59 in St. J. 60 in Lebanon. Warmest readings to the north tomorrow where we have the most sunshine. 80 in St. J. 79 in Newport. 82 in Burlington, a little bit cooler there over uh, northern New York, 72 in Saranac Lake, where we have the more coverage of showers. So widespread coverage on Tuesday. That's our wettest day, I think. Wednesday, we'll have morning showers that clear out, and then Thursday is dry. Maybe a few more showers for the start of the Champlain Valley Fair on Friday, but drying out for next weekend. Liz? Matt, thank you.